how do we find the means and extremes of proportions? Well, to do this, we need a proportion. So, let's take A over B equal to C over D. Now we have a proportion. But how do we find the means and extremes of this proportion? Well, look at A and D. A and D are our extremes of this proportion. On the other hand, B and C are our means for this proportion. Now we know how to pick out the means and extremes of a proportion. Let's take an example for practice. 5 over 7 equals 15 over 21. Find the means and extremes for this proportion. Well, A and D are our extremes. So here we have 5 and 21. 5 is an extreme and 21 is an extreme. The means are the same way. 7 is a mean and 15 is a mean. Now we've picked out the means and extremes for this proportion. Let's do one more example. One with a variable in it. 3 over x equals 4 over 12. Pick out the means and extremes. Well, 3 is an extreme. 12 is also an extreme. x, our variable, is a mean, and 4 is a mean. So remember, when dealing with a proportion, you have extreme means for mean extremes.